Hi and welcome to category 10 of mini program challenges. In this category, you're going to solve eight different challenges for tuples. Right now on the screen, you can see the timestamp for all the questions in this category. So let's go ahead. Let's move on to question number one. Now, uh, the question, question number one says reverse the following tuple. So go ahead, pause the video. You're going to see my solution after three seconds. How was the challenge? I am sure you did great. Now I'm going to create another variable and I'm going to call it tuple and I'm going to grab the tuple that we have and I'm going to say double colon minus one. This is going to uh, um, reverse a tuple as well as a list. So if I take a look at the tuple, it should be reversed 50 all the way to 10. That's question number one. Question number two says, access value 20 from the following tuple. So go ahead, pause the video. You're going to see my solution after three seconds. How was the challenge? I'm sure you did great. I'm going to paste that right here. So we need to access that. Now, to be able to access it, first I'm going to provide the name of the tuple. So uh, value 20 is the item with the index of 1. So first I'm going to grab that. Now I am within this list and then I'm going to, 20 is the item with the index of one. And I'm going to pass in another one and I'm going to save that. It says 20. There we go. We basically access that. Question number three says create a tuple with a single item 50. We have already talked about this, right? So go ahead, pause the video. You're going to see my solution in three seconds. The way that we can create an empty, uh, a single element tuple is, I'm going to say, we are going to use the um, uh, a pair of parentheses, and I'm going to say provide fi uh, 50. But if you want to create a single element tuple, you need to provide the trailing comma as well. Now, if I say print tuple, this is going to uh, this is going to print the tuple for us, and you can see it's a tuple with a single element. 50. That's it for question number three. Moving on to question number four. It says unpack the following tuples into four variables. Pause the video. You're going to see my solution after three seconds. First, I'm going to copy this tuple. The way that we can unpack a tuple is we need to specify the variables. Let's say A, B, C, D, and I'm going to set them equal to the tuple that we have. And then I'm going to say print A. This is B, uh, OK, C, and this is D. There we go. We should be able to see 10, 20, 30, and 40. Very cool. Moving on to question number five. Question number five says swap the following two tuples. So go ahead, pause the video. You're going to see my solution in three seconds. The way that we can swap two tuples is that I'm going to create two uh, the, the same variables again. So we have tuple 1 and then we have tuple 2, right? I'm going to set tuple 1 to tuple 2. That's going to swap that tuple and I'm going to say tuple, um, tuple 2 to tuple 1. These are going to, they are going to be swapped. So print tuple 1 as well as two. Let's save that, let's run it. We have 99 and 88 for tuple one, 11 and 22 for tuple two. Moving on to question number three, we see that it says copy element 44 and 55 from the following tuple into a new one. So go ahead, pause the video. You're going to see my solution after three seconds. Now I'm going to copy this tuple, put it right here. Oops, that's the previous. Let's copy this one. And then I'm going to create another tuple. I'm going to say tuple two. 
we need to provide a snake case. And I'm going to say, I'm going to grab the tuple that we have, and I'm going to select item um, 33 and 44, right? Sorry, 44 and 55. 44 and 55. So I'm going to say, item with the index of three, this is the item with the index of three, all the way to the item with an index of minus one, which is the last one. But it's not going to grab the last one, it's just going to grab 44 and 55. If I say print tuple two and take a look at it, we can see it's 44 and 55. Uh, moving on to question number seven. Change the value of the first item of a list, um, uh, of the list to 222. So go ahead, pause the video. You're going to see my solution after three seconds. So how was the challenge? I'm sure you did great. Was that even three seconds? I hope it was. And uh, so we need to grab the first item of the list and convert it to 222. Two, two. So we have the tuple. So uh, the list itself is the item with the index of one. And then the first item, the first item of that list, of course, has an index of zero. And I'm going to set it to 222. Two, two. Now, if I print this tuple, this tuple, let's save that. We can see it says two, two, two. Very cool. And the final question asks us, count the number of occurrences of item 50 uh, from a tuple. So go ahead, pause the video. You're going to see my solution after three seconds. So how was the challenge? I'm sure you did great. I'm going to say print tuple dot count and I'm going to pass in 50. This is going to do the trick and save that. Let's run it again. Where is it? There we go. It says two. There are only two items with the value 50 within our tuple. That's it for this category. See you in the next one.